the way the college sailing schedule works is really laying the groundwork for the spring when our national championships are. Um, and so we had some pretty good results in the fall and um, that set us up well to be able to qualify for nationals. We had a really great learning focused fall where we just really like developed a younger team focused on fleet racing mostly in the fall, which is what we'll be competing in next week. So that was really great. We're a fairly young team and coming off of COVID and all of that, um, we really lost a lot of what we call institutional memory of our sailing team. And um, so the fall and then also the spring has been a lot of gaining that back and uh, learning to work with this group of people. And I think that this spring has been a really great chance to focus on our speed as a team. We've done a ton of speed work, more than I can ever remember, I'm just really focusing on getting all boats kind of equal speed. Um, and that's been great. And I think that has really contributed to us being able to qualify for nationals. I personally will be competing in both the women's and the open nationals. The format is that the first two days of each women's and then open are the semifinals. It starts with 36 teams uh, and we'll compete for those two days and then the top 18 teams will move on to the finals. You know, the first two days are really just like keeping yourselves in the hunt for uh, the finals and then we'll really sort of bring it home in the finals. So it's really fun to be a part of this team that's kind of really strong right now and it looks like it has a really, really bright future.